Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we worked on our um, continuing extension of the, I guess, the North Central Corridor is what I'm calling it. And there goes the train, which currently extends out to, what is this, Esthar. I do want to continue to extend this all the way on over to Lindblom here. And eventually, it will go all the way up to Denerim, here, up the hills. But, for the moment, we'll probably just stop at Lindblom for now. Because um, I'm going to want some faster trains, I think, um, for the process of getting up to Denerim. Because that's a long stretch from Lindblom to Denerim, and we've got this big old hill we're going to have to climb. And so I might have to... Well, that's going to be interesting. Trying to climb up into this hill, and I might have to do a helix, and then emerge out here. I'll have to see. It'll be an interesting challenge getting up the hill. Or I could kind of roll out here and try and do a, a switchback or something. But, oh, that's for another time. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to get Lindblom all set up. And then we're going to get the station out here to Lindblom. We're going to extend the line. And then we're going to sit here and, well, eventually we'll wait for the passenger numbers to come up. And when it can support another train, we'll throw another train. And then we'll probably need to take a look and evaluate our older lines. See if they need to be upgraded or what. And then see about maybe some new freight. Alright, but well, let's go ahead and head on over to Lindblom here. And let's get the roads all set up and ready for trams. As I usually do. Alright, so... I'm going to use curvy roads here. No, no, no. I want to just come straight out. There you go. A slow arc there. connection from here to there. I don't necessarily want to come out that, that strong of an angle, but that will work. There we go. And so let's throw some tram on here. There we are. Alright, before we start setting up our stops, I want to figure out where the actual train station is going to be. We have this road that's kind of coming out to here. I could potentially, potentially use that. as it has a little connection there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. And then let's see, can I... Just throw some road here to make this a T-junction? Yes. There we are. 
And so that means that I'm going to want my tram stop to be like there. Well, probably there. Auto save. Though I can't actually still technically work. Um, there. There, we'll put that there. All right. Trend for... Lindblum. There we go. Depot. Just kind of stick this out here. Somewhere in the industrial area where no one's going to mind it. Hopefully. I'm going to knock out a building. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Can I get this on here without knocking out the building? There you go. I'm putting six trams on these. Fix that. There we go. Alright, now we just need some tracks. Which, as before, we're just going to stick with the standard, standard track. Because we had already started with it when the new track unlocked. Oh, hold on. What's the issue? Train 27 reports the following issue. What's the issue? You're gonna go back the other way. There's there's nothing in your way. What's your problem? No path. What do you mean no path? I don't see any issues in the path. Go the other way. Yeah, there you go. Weird. All right, now for some signals. Maybe the signals would have helped. 
I don't know. Is that, you know, it doesn't travel on this part of the track at all yet. So I don't know what his problem was. I, I guess we'll, we'll make a moving block in there. Okay. And then... Now is when I'm going to manage the line and say, okay, S thar. Now we're going to add station to go to Lindblum and then stop back at S thar again. There you go. And now what's your problem? What if I just reset you to that line? Let you recalculate yourself. All right, that seems to have worked. Let's just run it through. Let's make sure that train 28 doesn't have any issues. With the with the new section of line. Alright, fine. These guys are still losing money. It's a bit unexpected. Well, I think they'll become profitable soon enough. I'm gonna let this run through a full cycle. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, hop on board. Enjoy the scenery, because this game is very pretty. Now that I've had a couple of issues, just want to make sure we're not going to run into another problem. There's a lot of passengers waiting. Very good. noted before, last episode, we are starting to see some modern buildings and roads. The gently rolling hills here. There's the other train, which seems to be doing okay for now. I do hope I get newer bridges than that. I might have to look and see if there's any good bridge mods. Yet.
Alright, here's the crossroads. Save. All right, here's our bridge. Gotta see about replacing a lot of those dirt roads. And so now we should be pulling into Angel Grove. So that's the end of this line. Alright, are you going to make some decent cash? 76 passengers on board. That should make some decent cash. 824,000. Didn't get it to break even yet. These are some fairly expensive trains and wagons, so... I guess hopefully if we can get it to be have consistently good passenger levels across the whole run, then uh, then that'll start making some money. All right, so what else are we gonna do? Um, what one thing I wanted to do here was to improve tools delivery to Lorian. And also, potentially, uh, let's see, freight terminals. We have the Lorian Shunting, right? Which is running out to here. What I might want to do is manage this vehicle, and I want to replace... Let's see, what does it have on there? BR 75.4 bad 6C. Okay. Let's replace the selected vehicle. It should be a relatively... Yep, yeah, there you are. We'll keep that on there. Plus the four boxcars. One, two, three, four. But I'm going to add... A couple of tank cars. And maybe a couple of state cars? Um, I think the thing is profitable at the moment, but... No, no, just, just, a, just two. There we go. Hopefully that won't hurt its profitability too much. Because what my hope is, is that that will allow a fuel connection, at the very least, to bring some fuel through, maybe a small amount of fuel through here. Um, I mean, because we got we got tons of fuel in the system, so
So maybe that'll allow a trickle of fuel to come through here and then get delivered into Lorien. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a make a modification here. Green access for passengers and cargo. Um, do I want to put those on there? I think for the moment I will. I'm going to put the street access here. And then what we're going to do... Is I'm actually going to use. See, this needs to get this needs to get reworked here. Because that's that's a bit silly. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause this for a moment. We're going to I'm going to remove this road. Street. Too much slope, collision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if I could do like... Bridges there, but what I'm probably going to do is a tunnel. Too much slope. Temporarily remove the track. Temporarily remove the track. Connect that through there. Give it a little bit of a... Can I give it a little bit of a downward slope? Downward slope. Can I do a curvy road? Okay, there we go. Curvy road. Now that will that will work. Alright, and then Can I get a bridge over that? Mm. Okay, that's not gonna work then. All right, well, I'll see if I can come up with another idea then. Put the track back in. Construction is possible. What's your problem? It doesn't like hooking up to that switch? Fine. I'll rebuild it. Whatever. Can be finicky sometimes. Uh, 
Okay. So how to get that street from there to there. What I may need to do is rework this whole intersection a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely what's going to have to happen there. Okay, so we're going to remove this whole intersection. We're going to destroy that back a little bit. And then what we're going to do... Wiggle out this way a little bit and then come back. And go to a tunnel. Extend the length of this a little bit so that the slope is not that severe. There we go. And then reconnect there. that country road okay so now should be able to oh hold on don't not ready to unpause it just yet does Lindblom have a tram it does there there's the tram station it's like wait a minute where's a tram track on this There we go. And then I have this. Okay. Off of here with a road that kind of looks like that that's a bit awkward but it'll work and then what I'm gonna do is truck stop Maybe a little bit bigger truck stop tram track. We're going to use we're going to use trucks. Okay. And then we're going to make a freight delivery stop. Like right in the middle of town here. Like right around there. That should cover pretty much everybody. From there to there. This is the Lorian uh, Road Freight. Lorian Freight. Okay. 
And then I need a road vehicle depot. Which I can just kind of stick over here somewhere. It'll do. And it's going to need to carry fuel and tools. Forty-six horsepower, nineteen miles an hour, twenty-five miles an hour, fifty-four horsepower, all cargo. Let's get one, two, three, four for now. There we go. Alright, so... When we have trains, deliver some tools. And hopefully... Eventually some fuel. See, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure that the trains that actually arrive here... Machines shunting, Lorian shunting, no. Uh, this train here, Capital Food, doesn't have any tankers on it. So, we'll need to modify these vehicles. No problem. 442 Atlantic, eh, they could probably use some upgrades anyway. Uh, this is one of our largest trains here. It's running the 442 Atlantic, right? This does 62. I could throw the, a, the 412 to class 9000 on there. 4800 horse. That's a bit extreme, I think. Um, or double headed. I haven't done any double headed trains yet. Oh, we're over time here. That's all right. Cargo. We're doing eight gondolas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five box cars. One, two, three, four, five. Five flat car with stakes. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to throw a couple of tank cars on the end. There we go. There we go. And let's go find one of them. You. There we go. Double-headed steam locomotive. So what exactly are you doing here? You're loading food. Okay. Yeah, the other thing I got to do over here is uh, deal with deal with this. You know what? I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna deal with this because I completely forgot about it. I guess I had to add a platform. Sure. All right.
and there's a delivery here and that should cover tools and machines right yeah tools and machines should be able to be delivered there And this is an Ilium, Ilium Freight. RF, Ilium Alt Freight. All right, and then let's throw Where is the road depot? There. One, two, three should be fine. So what these guys should do is go hopefully pick up those machines and tools. Those need to get replaced. Bunch of new vehicles, Alco HH600, DL3000 Wit, Ford Model 77 Truck. See, the thing is, I don't know where these machines and tools are destined. Where are they supposed to be going? It's a bit weird. As long as you guys are still making money, that's all right. Well, I mean, I tried. I'll let it run for a little bit and see if anything comes of it. But we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.